They came out of nowhere. The settlers on Steady Praxis Prime, they're all dead. There was no warning. It's the same across the Praxis Corridor. The Altacarons are raiding neutral space, pushing back our boundaries, and attacking our settlers. Isn't that a clear treaty violation, Admiral Kaiser? One would think, Senator Gravitas. However, the Kitabu Treaty was left intentionally vague so that we could pursue a more expansionist policy in those areas. And how's that been working out, Kaiser? A little pushback was to be expected. Pushback? People are dead, Admiral. I am aware of that. But as commander of Frontier Defense, it is your job to protect them. You are absolutely right. However, it does help if I actually know that they're there. How many of these uncharted settlements did you authorize? I merely authorized the resettlement of the Praxis Corridor. It's up to the colonists to get properly chartered and registered. You cannot possibly... The horse is out of the barn now. It's a little late to lock the gate. Suggestions? The remaining colonies need support. We need an immediate aid and resettlement flotilla. Even more important is we need a Star Command presence in the area. Are you volunteering? Oh, I would. In a heartbeat. But regulations clearly state that that is the role of Frontier Defense. I'm afraid he's right, Patricia. We've never shirked our duty, Senator. Frontier Defense will get on the job immediately. Very well. I'll make my report to the committee. Thank you for your time. You know he's playing with us, don't you? I know. I would have thought he'd want to charge in there, guns blazing. He's playing a longer game. What are the chances there was an Office of Protocol outpost on Tau Ceti Prime? <laughs> I have absolutely no doubt, but we'll never be able to prove it. He's got a coalition building in the Senate. The old isolationist bloc. The ones who think the treaty was a sign of weakness. But it was a different time. We've been at peace for more than a generation. And many think that is a bad thing. That our enemies will see us as weak. They may be thinking of resurrecting the old military tribune position. 
If a man like Kaiser is raised to Tribune, with those powers... I, no, I don't even want to think about it. Then we have to make a point to stop him. That's in your hands, Patricia. And the annual Corporalian war maneuvers have my entire fleet on high alert and tied down on the other side of the sector. There must be someone we can spare. I do have one ship I'm not currently using. First officer's log. We are on day 175 of waste disposal duty. Personnel reallocation and the use of personal leave has reduced the ship's complement to a minimum. Even the captain has relinquished the con to me for the 45th day in a row. Uh, Mr. Bark, sir, we've reached Navboy 226. It's time for a course correction. Make it so, crewman. Uh, yeah. Encore, sir, to Navboy 228. When do we get on you, Helmsman? Fleet requisition has been slow to process through Central. Admiral Kamarov is still holding a grudge after the Okolivian incident. Oh, you think? It's amazing how those hillbillies learned so much about mineral rights in such a short amount of time. Funny how that happened after the captain had that meeting with Kamarov. It's quite fortuitous for them. Yeah. Fortuitous. Um, Lieutenant. Then there was the patrol of the Pyrates cluster. I'm sure we'll get our repairs as soon as we're back at space dock. Oh, repairs, yeah. That's just what we need. Never mind the fact that compartments were blown open or the fact that we lost... Anne, we are instructed not to speak about that. It's captain's orders. Hypocrite. He expects us to shut up about it while he wallows in self-pity and booze. Um, Lieutenant. He has his reasons. Like being a jackass? I didn't say there were good reasons. Um, Lieutenant. What? What do you want? What in the name of all that's holy could you possibly need my attention for, you scrawny, shaky, and possibly nervous little man? Priority channel message? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Captain's eyes only. Guess you'll have to go and get him. Could you not just call him up to the bridge? You know he doesn't take his communicator down there. Matchy four, best two out of three. Don't be such a baby. Just go down there and drag Shepard out of his pity hole. That'll be very difficult. He spent a lot of time in his pity hole. Put him in a long boat till he's sober. Put him in a long boat till he's sober. Put him in a long boat. Early in your mother. Captain. Shh. Shh. Captain, this is of some importance. Don't make me say shh again. <laughs> oh, you should see the look on your face, Brock. Come on, grab a seat, pull up a beer. I am catching so many of these little brims. You are aware that this is the ship's water reclamation tanks. Mm hmm? Frankly, sir, I would be quite surprised and downright disturbed if we were to find fish in the ship's water supply. Fishing is not about catching fish, Brock. I thought that was entirely the point, sir. Hmm. Fishing is about sitting at the water's edge and not thinking about a goddamn thing. That's very enlightening, sir, but if you could just take a moment. I think I could be a good fisherman, Brock. I'm starting to get the whole zen thing. Except, when it gets all quiet, then I start hearing that pressure warning, and oh, I get blown out into space. Is there something you wanted, Brock? Priority message from Fleet Command, sir. It's marked for your eyes only. I have to get up, doesn't it? I'm afraid so, sir. 
I'm not sure I can get up, Borok. Would you like me to help you up, sir? I checked them twice. The power flow is stable. That compartment should be completely flooded with radiation. He plugged it and then vented the compartment. Duct tape can't do that. Evidently it can. Uh, he's got new orders from Fleet Command. But I thought we had him for another month. I don't have nearly the data I need to make an effective hypothesis. I'm thinking it's something quantum. The machines around him are both broken and repaired at the same time. It may be the Schrodinger effect. Well, regardless, his ship's been reassigned. We need to give him up. Well, I'm not going in there. You can tell him. What? No way. If there's an irradiation suit around, I'd trust around him. Uh, match you for it? Uh Damn! Uh, hang on, let me set up the hollow recorder. Oh. oh. Morning, fellas. Good good morning. Drink? Uh, no thanks. No. Suit yourself. Sir, what have you done with that IPS conduit? What was that? I rerouted it through the negative power coupling. It's getting a little chilly in here. That should initiate an infinite feedback loop. It could cause matter, antimatter, annihilation. Blow up this half of the station. What do you think? I'm stupid? I grounded it out through an in-space converter. You shunted the excess power into another dimension? Yeah. Some poor Earth 2 bastard is having a real bad day right about now. <sighs> Sir, you've been reassigned. Cool. This has been fun, but I gotta say, this is the weirdest teaching gig I've ever been on. I never actually saw any students. Yes, well, uh, you've been recalled to your ship. Oh, uh, I guess I'd uh, better gather up my things then. been a thing. So long. Uh, I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Come to think of it, you might not want to come into this room anymore. Well, bye. Bring in the initiates. You are here to complete your final task, the right of T-Bar, your right of manhood. Some of you I've seen before. <clears throat> You have passed all of your previous tests. You have hidden your porn stash from your mother. You have retrieved bad booze from an ill-conceived party. You have unhooked a bra in a backseat makeout session. Today, your final task. Should you pass, you will not only become a man, you will become a warrior in the Altaron Empire. Your final test. 
is to enjoy about five minutes worth of silence while I sit here and read the paper and have a cup of coffee, okay? Is anything wrong, Mr. Grack? Yes. Hmm. It's for you, boy. of Grack? You, sir, are no man. You are no warrior. Do it! Huh. What? Oh, hey, Grack. I finally got a hold of you. New orders came through. We were uh, meeting up at the Kinaboo Fleet Station. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. Why are you calling me? my right of manhood to see how share a cab? No, oh, is it, uh, is it important? I swear, by Leet, father of the code, and creator of all honorable vengeance, I will flay the skin from your bones and feed it to dogs! Right, but do you want to share a cab? Yes, of course, they're expensive. <sighs> Over already. Let me guess, one of those bumbling humans you serve with interrupted the High Priest's coffee break. If I had been allowed to kill the one known as Chuck, according to the code of Leap the Bitch Maker, I could redeem myself in the eyes of the Empire. Ah, uh, but only a man may pwn according to the code. You're aware of that, General? Relax, Grack. I am not here as your adversary. I've seen your predicament, and I believe I have a solution. What kind of solution? You have served your crewmates well in the Commonwealth, but I know in all three of your hearts you are all to care. Why would you attempt the right of manhood again if you were not? The first nine times were embarrassing enough, but now to I, I, fail. I get the point, General. Very well. I have the power to appoint you to my Warriors Council, which would confer the right of manhood upon you. Why would you do that? Am I not a generous leader? Not in my experience, no. A kind-hearted person. You destroyed four colonies this week. To my friends! Kind-hearted to my friends! Your friends? Of course. Tlop! Yes, my general. You're my friend, yes, Tlop? Yes, my general. Prove it. Yes, my general. <laughs> Friendship. Very well. I have received word from a highly placed source that the Commonwealth is expanding into the Praxis Corridor, and I want to know why. Conquest, control, and resources. You have lived with them this long and don't know anything about them, do you? All these colonies springing up in this corridor of space. Why? They are looking for something. Something that will end this Cold War and give them the advantage. It's time to decide where you stand, Grack. With them, or with your people. Come. You wanted to see me, sir? Ah, yes. Commander DeSoto. Please come in. May I call you Olivia? I would prefer my official title, sir, as we are not in a casual setting. 
I'd heard that you were an exceptional protocol officer. Very by the book. Regulations were enacted for a reason. Going by the book, as you say, prevents chaos from overwhelming the fleet. You're very young for your rank, Lieutenant Commander. I was awarded an early promotion as a result of meritorious service. It says here that you turned in your commanding officer for seditious conduct. An action I am not proud of, but it had to be done for the good of the fleet. During a rescue mission? They were pirates, smugglers. Their own flotilla had to be secured before any life-saving measures could be taken. By the book, sir. <laughs> I have a position for you in the Frontier Fleet. It has been quite some time since this ship had a protocol officer on board, and I think you have just what it needs. You need to be careful on this one, Richard. Things are changing, and not for the better. Kaiser and the Office of Protocol are up to something, and I don't have to warn you how dangerous they can be. You're going to have a political officer on board. Watch what you say, watch what you do, because you can be damn sure others are watching. <whistles> Well, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs>